Hi, and welcome to week two of Link Living's The Weekly Ray. Yep, you guessed it, we made it to another show. So thank you to everybody at home for your support, and hopefully you took away a hint or tip from last week's show that helped you with your mental health and well-being. I also hope that you like Michael's five steps to a strong sleeping routine, but if you missed it, don't worry, you can still get that on social media or via the website. Now this week's show, we have a chat with Jamie Mowbray to find out how he's getting on during lockdown and how Link Living is supporting him. Joe Foster gives us some great cooking tips and we also have some live music. We like it, but we think that you'll love it. Now we have Jamie Mowbray joining us to tell us a little bit about what he's been doing during lockdown to keep himself busy. Thanks for coming on, Jamie. Thanks very much, Graham. Thanks for having me. So, Jamie, obviously it's a it's an unusual time just now. What have you been doing to to fill up your time and keep yourself busy? Um, well, to start with, I mean, I'm a little bit different from other people. Maybe people who don't have kids. I've got two kids, um, so I'm, my hands are a little bit full. Um, but for for like myself and stuff, you know, I am quite an active person. You know, I, I like to work out. Um, and with I think you've spoken to Michael already. Um, so me and Michael, um, every now and again, maybe you know, a couple of times during the week or or whenever, um, we'll have like a little chat on Zoom, get a wee workout going, um, just getting us pumped and you know feeling good. Um, so that's something that's like for me, I like to just keep active and. You know, it kind of gives me a burst of energy, especially in the morning and stuff. And, um, you know, it's a really good way to start off my day, I think. Um, and obviously I have two kids as well, so I'm running about and I'm, I'm playing with them and I'm, I'm doing stuff with them. And um, so, I mean, I, I guess that's for me. Um, I, I'm, I'm always quite busy and stuff. I've always got stuff to do. Um, but I, I think for, for, for someone else who, you know, who maybe doesn't have kids, I highly, highly recommend them um, obviously working out. Um, just doing little things. I was I was spoke I spoke to Michael, and then um, we were talking about maybe starting to do some yoga. Um, so something that I, I'm I'm quite interested in doing. Um, so it's just like little things that um, is going to keep me active and you know get me interacting with other people. And Zoom's a really good app to you know um, interact uh, with other people. So um, no, I've, uh, that's me. So you mentioned there speaking to Michael and him yes. doing things like exercise with you and having chats and things how how important has that been oh like i mean it's um it's, it's, for me i'm i'm quite a social person i like to meet new people get chatting and you know um so that's just that's the type of person i am so it's, it's good to you know i've got my kids and stuff and and uh, my girlfriend and stuff and that's great but it's also you know other people getting chatting about to other people and stuff um it's uh, something that I like for, you know, to keep my, my mind healthy and um, no, it's a, a great thing that um, is important to me, I would say, it just, you know, keeps me um, just not in the same, you know, how do I explain that, sorry, um, just keeps me kind of sane a little bit, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's just important to me to keep in, interacting with other people. You mentioned um, beforehand that um, for other people, you would tell them to to try and do some fitness, keep keep moving and keep yeah. busy. Is there anything else that that you find that helps yourself, or or maybe you've worked on with Michael that that you think is important at this time when we're we are a little bit isolated and and we're we're at home just now and maybe don't have um, as much stuff to to keep us busy. Yeah, um, I mean, for I know. Everybody has, um, you know, difficulties. Maybe some people have injuries or, you know, some things like that. So there's always, you know, little workouts that um, that could be tweaked and that could be suitable for other people. Um, I would, I'm a good cook. I love cooking as well. Um, so it's like, I guess it's kind of a bit of an achievement when you've, um, you've said to yourself or whatever, you know, you're going to make a cake or, you know, you want to make some, some sort of food and then you've got all, you've got some stuff there, you've made it all, you, you know, you feel good that you've actually made a wee cake and then you could maybe share it with your mum or your, your dad or brothers or, or whatever it may be. And, you know, um, 
yeah, just uh, little tasks. Um, you know, waking up in the morning and make sure like you, you know your bed's clean and you know the place is nice and clean. You know, that's that's a little achievement that that makes you just feel that little bit good in the morning. Um, you know, waking up to eating eating something nice, um, something healthy, or you know, keep, keeps your energy levels high and you know gets you ready for that day. Um, cooking, you know, you, you're busy for a little bit, you know, just them little things that are going to keep you occupied just for that little bit, you know, just really, really helps. And, um, you know, for me, I'm, I'm kind of cooking a lot. I'm making lunch, breakfast, dinner, you know, I've got kids and stuff. So, I mean, um, for me, I, I just like cooking anyway. I just, I love seeing, um, I love seeing like an end product of, of anything, you know, that could be from my, my room being all messy and stuff and then, you know, I clean it all. It's like, oh, you know, that's that's one task for the day. It makes me feel good. And I go downstairs, you know, get some tea, get a nice wee cup of tea, and you know, and it just makes you feel little, little things like that just make you feel good. You know what I mean? It's good. It's good that you have that organisation there to to keep you you busy, Jamie. And and thanks very much for giving us that little tip there for for other people out there that are at home listening. Thank you very much for giving up your time and having a chat with me today. Right. It's been great to, to hear what you're getting up to. And you, you stay safe and well at home. Thanks very much. Thank you, Sal. Thank you very much. Some good hints and tips from Jamie there. And remember, it's so important for us all to talk at this moment in time. So finding new ways to reach out to people is extremely important. Now, it's time to rustle up something special. Joe Foster got in touch about a great idea he discussed with a service user about a website called Supercook. It brings together all the leftover ingredients that are in the house and gives you a fantastic recipe idea that you can try yourself. So Joe picked out a cheesy loaf and gave it a bash. Check it out. So today I'm going to be making a cheeky cheese loaf. For the cheeky cheese loaf we need some milk, some cheddar, some melted butter, self-raising flour and some salt. Put all the ingredients into one bowl and give it a cheeky mix. Once you've finished mixing, put the mixture into a loaf tin. I'm going to put it into the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. Gas mark 6. Oh, is that the time? Let's have a look. Oh, look at this. My beautiful cheese loaf. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Why not head over to Supercook and see what recipes you can make. Cheesy loaf. It's an interesting one, but I actually look pretty good. I'll give that one a bash myself, Joe. Now, there are some other recipe ideas on the website, and there's a couple of posts on social media about them as well, so check them out. Now, Jan Martin submitted a great poem. We'll give you a reading of it just now. It's been a whole month since social cafes have closed. Lockdown is extended. When it will end, no one knows. Our world has now changed, no social contact allowed. The government says more than two is a crowd. No more trips to the shops or walks in the park. Social cafes still cancelled. The days ahead seem dark. But Link Living staff are still out and about, dedicated and committed. Of that, there's no doubt. Our chats on the phone bring comfort to some. There is still time for laughter, for smiling, for fun. In these hard times, Link Living staff are still here, doing their jobs with compassion, commitment and good cheer. Thanks, Jan. We liked that one and hopefully i done it justice. It's a difficult time for us all just now, but if you can support Link Living by giving the price of a cup of coffee or what would usually be your commute to work, then that could make a massive difference. There are ways to donate on the website and you can find that via our social media posts. And a thanks in advance if you can help. And finally, we wrapped up last week 
with a dancing extravaganza. This week we have Tennessee support worker Scott Maloney and his ukulele. Feel free to join in. Why not give a little dance? Stay home, stay safe, help to save lives and join us next week on episode 3. Thanks. Bye-bye. Don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be alright Sing it, don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be alright Rise up this morning Look to the rising sun Three little birds Inside my doorstep Singing sweet songs Melodies pure and true This is my message to you Singing don't worry About a thing Cause every little thing Is gonna be alright Singing don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing Is gonna be alright